As you can see, I have an oboe in my hands. It is a double reed instrument, which means that the sound originates from the reed. What makes it a double reed is that it's two pieces of cane tied together on a tube, which makes a buzzing sound by itself. And without that in there, the oboe makes no sound. However, when you put the reed in the oboe, it amplifies the sound from the reed and transfers through the oboe to make very beautiful melodies. and I'm the principal bassoon of the Nashville Symphony. Today I'm here to talk about the bassoon. The bassoon is also part of the double reed family, like the oboe, but we're a much bigger instrument, so it sounds a lot lower. We make our reeds, and in order to end up with the two pieces of wood that vibrate together, we have to start by one piece of cane and then we give the shape to it so it becomes a lot thinner. The third step, we remove a lot of the wood in the middle so it's thin enough that it can vibrate and then we split it in two so we can make a reed. This one, the tip isn't cut yet so it cannot vibrate. So as you see, it can only create vibration when the two pieces of wood vibrate together and the instrument is an extension of, of it. The sound and the air vibrations travel all the way through the instrument and is one long tube turned in here in the bottom. It, and if you could open up, it would be meters long. So because of that, the sound is very low. We are very lucky because our register is also very big, so we can go up in the high, high notes. So our role in the orchestra is a little bit like the cello. We accompany a lot of the times, and sometimes we even have solos. You might recognize this one. Hi everyone, my name 
my name is Katherine Kohler and I play clarinet, which is the best instrument in the orchestra. Well, it will be once we put it together, so let's get started. The bottom of the clarinet starts with the bell, which helps funnel the sound out the bottom. After that, we have the lower joint, which we use with our right hand. And attached to that, we have the upper joint, which we play with our left hand. The next piece is very important. It's called the barrel, and this piece holds our mouthpiece onto the clarinet. Now the mouthpiece is the only part of the clarinet that is not made of wood. All of the black that you see is called grenadilla wood, and then all of the keys are made of silver. The last piece of wood that we're going to put on is called a reed. And this is a piece of cane. It's a single reed because it only has one part to it. In order to attach this to the clarinet, we are going to put on what's called a ligature. And this is important because it holds the reed tight to the mouthpiece so that we can use our hands to play all of the different notes. So the clarinet can play very low and soft. <laughs> And it can also play really high and loud. We hope you enjoy this woodwind quintet. The name of my instrument is the French horn, or horn. It's a member of the brass family, just like the trumpet, the trombone, and the tuba. I make my sound by buzzing my lips against it, the mouthpiece. And I blow. When I add it to the rest of the instrument, which is really just 12 feet of coiled up tubing, that lowers the sound. And the bell acts like a megaphone or amplifier to make the sound louder. When the horn was first being developed, that's really all it was, a mouthpiece, the tubing, and the bell. And the horn player of that day had to make the notes change by just changing the tension in his lips. Later, when the valves were added, we could get the notes in between. colors and and opportunities it can sound beautiful and lyrical member of the Nashville Symphony Orchestra. Today, we're going to take a closer look at one of the instruments in the woodwind family, the flute. Now, you're probably thinking, wait a minute, that can't be a woodwind instrument. It's not even made out of wood. Well, flutes can be made out of wood and metals such as gold and silver. Mine's made out of silver. In fact, flutes can be pretty much made out of anything hollow, like bamboo or a PVC pipe. And they can be made out of materials like jade or even glass. In fact, some of the oldest instruments ever to be discovered were made out of animal bones. Pretty cool, huh? So, how do we make sound out of this instrument? Well, since it's a woodwind instrument, flutes need wind or our air. But unlike the other instruments of the woodwind family, the clarinet, the oboe, and the bassoon, we don't need a reed in order to create sound on this instrument. All you have to do is just blow air into this little hole over here, and then you get a sound. Ta-da! So how do we create different notes or pitches 
on the instrument? Well, we just make different combinations of these keys being pressed down, and then we can change the different notes. We can play a little low. And we can also play pretty high. So there we go. Here's a little short introduction to the flute, and I hope you're all a little bit more curious about learning more about this instrument and all the other fantastic instruments in our symphony orchestra.